Girls, <laughs> it is Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, and you know what that means. Mm. Turkey, gravy, candied yams, cheesy mashed potatoes, mm. and for dessert, pumpkin pie a la mode, heavy on the mode. <laughs> okay, at the risk of raining on our Thanksgiving Day parade, <laughs> according to scientists, bacon and cheesecake and the like can alter the brain in ways similar to heroin and cocaine. I believe that. Girls, I believe that. I believe that. what do you think I of that? I didn't need a study to tell me you that. You know, Let's we have bacon, and I was thinking that we would be actually having bacon and eggs today here on the couch. I brought my favorite example. Oh, oh yes. I, I confess, I was making these breakfast. They, Those were for breakfast? Sharon has these in our cafeteria. Yes. Frosted cupcakes is in the article and mm. I am glad I now have a diagnosis of why <laughs> why I felt compelled to just go see if there were any that morning and eat them before 10 o'clock I mean that's, but that, really that's sad. pretty profound that it's the same amount like the addiction mm -hmm. of heroin and cocaine mm -hmm. is the same thing of of being addicted to bacon and Cheesecake. Well, it has to do with the uh, dopamine. Dopamines, the dopamine yes. in, in us. And, and, and how it can be habitual. Like if you start yep. with it, you start craving it, and it actually becomes a habit and a, a longing and addiction for that kind of food, mm -hmm. high fat food. Mm -hmm. Well, these rats that they tested this on actually became so addicted yep. to the high fat, high sugar foods that when they were presented with the, the salad bar option, they chose to starve themselves. That's right. They said salad That's bar or don't eat, and they chose not to eat. Mm -hmm. For days. Eat wow. For days. days. Mm -hmm. yeah. For days. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, what does that say, though? <laughs> I've never been that crazy. Yeah, me neither. It's I definitely... like the salad bar and then still craving something, yeah. a little something. Yeah, I think, I, I, again, like I said, I didn't need the study to tell me that. There's definitely been moments <laughs> where I've had to, you know, all right, resist. You know, <laughs> I just had to literally walk away from the table because now it's like, okay, this is bordering on gluttony. There's something about like oil and salt that's just, I don't know, so tempting. Okay, well, I have Lay's baked potato, uh, Lay's barbecued <laughs> chips are my absolute weakness. Because of the what, the salt? Oh, I don't but, know what it is. But here's the thing it's they say. In, in a combination with these articles in the, in the National Post, there's another one that says the reason why, and what is it, over 60% of Canada, Statistics Canada says that uh, Canadians are obese or overweight. Yeah. Isn't that well, right? Statistics Canada says 37% <coughs> of adults population ages 20 to 69 are overweight and 24% are obese. And they say in other articles it's because we can't say no. So it, not only the addiction part of bacon, cheesecake, high fatty foods, but we are a society that can't say no to these kinds of foods and actually be disciplined to balance it. They said, mm -hmm. don't say, you, you know, you don't have to cut out bacon and cupcakes the whole time, okay. but you have to be responsible that you don't eat them excessively. But yeah. how can what, you be disciplined when you're an addict? I mean, that's the thing, right? It, it really it's knowing is. there's a chemical hook, which is both comforting. It's not just, as they said in the article, it's not just my lack of willpower but or discipline. Is. You've got to know you're feeding. It's like Pac-Man. You know, you're feeding the thing <laughs> that is going but my, to control you. But does it start as a child? Like, here's the thing I'm trying to understand. Like, where do you begin these mm -hmm. habits of eating these kinds of food? Well, we're busy. I mean, let's be honest. How, like, when was the last time all of us sat down at a dinner table and, you know, sat down for about 20 minutes and cut our food nice. and digest it? Like, we just, <laughs> we're busy. You know what I mean? Like, you do have, have to plan it. Exactly. You standing up. Yeah. yeah, usually. It's, and it's running diet, and right? running while but, you're eating. But oh, yeah, let, let me just say this, because we were talking about this this morning, and mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not here to sell anything but I have a chronic cough and I discovered with the help of a naturopath that there's likely buildup of yeast in the system so if I don't eat wheat dairy and sugar and stay there I will have great effects all over my body but I will cease to crave the things mm -hmm. You know, the more yeast in the system, the more you crave the things that feed it. Oh, Is this I starting see. to make sense? It all ties into what we're hearing mm -hmm. here. So turning the ship around is painful. It's very hard. But I'm telling you today, <laughs> into, my, into my third week. Are you week, giving that up? Because if you don't uh, want yeah, it. Yeah, you can share that around here. <laughs> well, that, and the crew's been eyeing that cupcake. I didn't pay for it, but here's the point. Uh, I'm into the third week, and that isn't tempting me. And I'm telling you that plain vegetables are have a better taste. I've decluttered the palate and something's happened in my brain. Mm -hmm. So you know what? It, it all makes sense. And it, no, let me give you a scripture for this, okay? No discipline seems pleasant at the time, mm -hmm. but painful. Mm -hmm. Later on, however, it yields a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who are trained by it. So if this is speaking to you and you've got the courage to give it a week, 
Give it mm -hmm. two weeks. Whatever that thing is that pulls you. Maybe it's that double whammy burger. I don't know what it is sugar. that, that has sugar, the sugar, sugar, salt, yeah, chocolate. You know, in North America, we are addicts to salt and sugar. In a balanced diet, bland and bitter is in there as well. If something's bland, what do we do to it? Put well, salt, put on salt on it. If it's bitter, what do we do? We put sugar on it. We're Johnny One Note or Two Note. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, I'm just giving you these thoughts. This, this. Thank is you, the Moira. The ranch yeah, is you're... heard. We oh, are receiving going. it. We <laughs> are absorbing it, especially on Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah, exactly. And maybe yeah. we'll absorb oh, it on why? Tuesday. Maybe not so much, so much candied yams. And the candied yams. I am going to.